Welcome to Bits of Blender, and today I'm going to talk about uh, three minor differences between Blender 2.45 and 2.46. And also with me today is uh, someone who's been using Blender since he was eight and a half years old. Uh, Richard, how old are you now? Nine. See that? But a pretty darn good Blender head for someone who's nine. Mm. The first thing I want to show is when you're installing Blender. 2.46. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the installer. I'll move this over here. Next. I agree to something. And I'm just accepting the defaults for now, like, like usual. And this is where I'll get you if you're on Windows. Uh, right here. Uh, this is the default, but if you do that, uh, I find that I don't see my scripts visible. So select this second one, use the installation directory, next, and uh, then you'll be fine. You'll see all your scripts. All right, I'm going to pause while this finishes. Okay, let me launch Blender, and the next thing I'm going to show you is how when you put objects in, the default has changed. Uh, the way it's uh, been previously is when you put an object in, uh, it's aligned to that view. And let me show you the difference here. I'll delete that object. I'll add a plane. And everything looks normal, right? So let me delete that object. Look at it from the front view. And then add a plane. And notice that it didn't come in the way you might have expected from earlier versions of Blender, where you're looking at it straight on. And that's a line to view. You'll see when it comes in, uh, that the uh, rotation is at the zero zero point. In previous versions, it would have came in aligned to view. So here, when it came in, it would have been at like 90 degrees. And if you didn't know that, you might not realize that you already have a rotation on your objects. So here, it kind of makes more sense. But if you, uh, that it comes in at zero zero, uh, I like that better. But if you prefer it the previous way, let's go ahead and delete that. And I'll show you where you can now set that preference. Uh, so, Move your cursor up, up to this line here to get your user preferences. Click on Edit Methods, and click Aligned to View. So that was the previous default for versions of Blender. So now look, I'm still in the front view. I hit the space bar, add a plane, and you'll see that the plane was added with rotation on it. So to get rid of this, you would have to, uh, you know, do, uh, you know, Alt R, clear rotation and you'd be back to its zero zero point. Of course, you could have typed in there as well. Now, the last thing I want to show you is, let's go to the desktop. I forgot what I'm looking for. Uh, trap and top blend. This is the uh, blend file for uh, my Blender Basics 2 video that if you look at this and render it, let's see, let's go ahead and do a quick render. Uh, I'm going to render it at like 50% so it renders quickly. I probably could have turned oversampling off. You'll see something funky going on here with the uh, texture map. So let's close that. And what's changed is, okay, so right click on the object, go into materials, go to texture, I'm going to select the logo because that's the one that's actually having the problem. And look at this pre-multiply. That wasn't there before, but it is there now. And the default before for objects is that pre-multiply is on. So now watch. When I give it a quick render, there it looks fine again. So the three changes that we have in this video, just three minor changes to preferences, is when you're installing, if you're on Windows especially, I didn't notice that on Mac, 
uh, is select the middle option, the installation directory, so that you can see all your scripts. Otherwise, if you didn't select uh, the middle option, you might not, when you go to import, you might not see your scripts here. You just see those three things. Uh, the second thing is your align to view. The defaults change so that now uh, when you add a new object, it is not aligned to view. It's in its default 000 uh, rotation. If you want it back the way it was previously, just click that on. And the third thing is the default for uh, textures with image maps, uh, like this logo, turning pre-multiply on. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.